I was trying to get the Polaris seat slider for an RZR 800S 2013. And this is the instructions they give you, and it doesn't recommend it for this this RZR for some reason. It, it does not have it listed for 2013. Now here's the part number I got. That's the Polaris part number. And what I did was I took it apart, and I took it all apart, and I it had a half inch thing on there, and then it had the Allen key. I don't even know what size Allen key it is. But I took it apart. I only got one side back together now. Now I took the bottom of my seat off and I put the bars upside down. You can see them in here. Now I'm just placing these washers in place so I can move the seat without taking everything out of alignment. Now, what I did was I unscrewed the, the frame rail off the seat. They, they came off with these four bolts. I took the frame rail off the seat and then, actually, I should say the bottom of the seat off of the frame. That's what I did, this bottom piece. And you know what? It, it really went, it, it pretty much went right on. Um, I had to take it apart to get it in there. And I think that's why they don't recommend it for this year. I had to take all this stuff off. I slid, you slide it forward, you get one bolt. You slide it back, you get the other bolt. And I was able to get this bottom piece off of it. The bottom piece screwed right into there. It lined up, it screwed in, I didn't have to drill. And then I put the other side on, and when I went to slide this bar on, it did not fit. It was just a little, actually when I went to put this piece in, it didn't fit. So it was just a little wider for some reason. So what I did was I loosened up these top bolts, I wedged them over as much as I could, as much as I can get them in, tightened it up, and then it went. And um, I still don't wanna, I, I, let me just get one thing bolted before I move it for the video, because I don't wanna, lose what I just got in place. I think I'm pretty straight. Uh, actually, so I'm not, actually, I'm not that straight. So, now, if you pull this down to the, to the seat, see? Now it moves now, see, it's to the front. Now it's all the way back. It's working like a charm, I'm, I'm really happy. So it worked for a 2013 RZR, even though they said it would not. I'll show you my machine to see if it's like yours. And uh, there's my RZR. It's a 2013 800HO. And you see, I took out the seat. I don't know if you can see it. Well, you can't even see in there, but I took the seat out. I got some new sneakers for it over there. And it worked, so people, I know this was a horrible video. The only reason I'm making it is because that, that part number does work. Uh, I just had to take it apart, and then it worked. And I think, I do not know why Polaris says it won't fit this year. But like I said, you slide this forward, and you get a back bolt out here. It goes into this metal. Take that out. Very simple. It looks just like this, the bolt, when you take it out. Take it out, half-inch bolt. Slide the bar all the way back, take out that half inch bolt. Then you you have those two Allen key things again. It bolts this to the seat frame. Then with two washers under here, you need the two washers under there. See that space? I think that's so that bar can move. So make that spacer in there. Put two washers under each one of those bolts, which it gives you. See the two washers? And you do that on both sides. And then after you bolt everything to the seat, you bolt them back together. See the space? And it works. So my slider for the RZR worked. So hope that helped anyone out to deciding what to do for a seat slider for a 2013 RZR 800S. It does work.